her mind We played hide and seek for hours Raised our shadows my Hi, this is Debbie with Food Prepping Channel And today I'm bringing y'all along because I am part of a cookbook collaboration that is being hosted by Tamara of Southern Wife Everyday Life. Her channel, she is doing this now, I think through the end of the year. It's going to be done once a month and I'm so excited about this. I absolutely love going back and looking through my recipe books and today it is one that is in taste of home it's a taste of home ground beef and it's different things like this the one that i'm getting the recipe out of is stovetop suppers and so what i am making for y'all is a mock stroganoff and I'm sure that you've seen the ones like these on here. It's just ground hamburger stroganoff or whatever. But this one is called mock stroganoff. And so what I am using is I have got, it's going to be extra wide egg noodles. It's going to be one, it says one pound of ground beef. But I always do like a pound and a half. And because it's going to shrink up anyway, because this is, this is ground beef chuck, but it still has a lot of grease in it. And then I've got one um, chopped onion, and I've got mushrooms. Teresa is washing those for me. Um, one and a half cups of water. It says two envelopes of brown gravy mix, but I've got the container of brown gravy mix and then two cups of sour cream. And the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to put this, well, I always get the rolls of ground, of ground chuck or whatever if I'm going to cook like a casserole or something like that. All right, so that is going in my, on my new wave, in my Ming, I think it's a Ming pan or something. I, <laughs> I got this, it's really kind of weird because I got this pan when I had COVID back in December and do not remember getting this, but I absolutely love this frying pan. It, it it's Ming. It's something diamond. I don't I don't even know. I know there was fifty dollars. I do not remember ordering it at all. Period. I did look. It was ordered by me, and but I guess I I think that. The first two weeks that I had COVID were, I just don't remember anything back then. And I, it was Christmas. Well, I got it on December the 4th. And over the next uh, month and I think a month and two weeks, I had it for a month and two weeks. So six weeks or whatever. It was just a lot that <laughs> I missed. So this was this is one of them. But anyway, I'm gonna cook this. Go on and cook this ground beef, and um, I'm going to go on right now and cut the onion up and get the mushrooms ready and put those in here. And I will bring you back. Okay, y'all. All right, I'm back. Um, all right, I wanted to show y'all the recipe. This is the mock stroganoff, and you can see it's three cups uncooked egg noodles, one pound ground beef, one fourth cup chopped onion, one fourth cup sliced fresh mushrooms, one and a half cups water, two envelopes brown gravy mix, two cups sour cream. So I'm going to have to um, probably change some stuff on this because I did use a pound and a half of ground beef and I used one small chopped onion and I used probably a cup of sliced fresh mushrooms so I'm probably gonna have to change this but I did want to 
show y'all the pan over here now. I've got the ground beef in here, the onions, and the um, mushrooms. And this recipe does not call for salt and pepper. I'm not sure why. <laughs> A lot of these recipes in these Taste of Homes I'm looking at and a lot of them do not call for salt and pepper so I don't know what the deal is with that but I guess that the brown gravy mix is going to be salty enough and I but I do think that after I get everything together that I'm going to taste it before I put the sour cream in there and make sure that it's got enough salt and pepper and all and well it doesn't have any pepper I'm going to have to put some pepper in there but I am cooking this now. The next thing that I've got to do is when this is done, since I don't have um, a stove, you know, just the one burner in here or whatever, I'm going to take this off of the, the new wave and then I'm going to put my other pan on there and cook the egg noodles. And then I'll go back to the this pan with the ground beef and all and we'll go from there so i will bring y'all back okay y'all i'm back all right so i'm making um a side dish to go with this mock stroganoff i'm going to make pinto beans in my ninja foodie and this will be the same as you doing it if you have an instant pot and you don't have the ninja foodie but you have the instant pot you can do the very same thing in that and what I'm using is I've got two packs of this um, wait a minute let me turn it over no where's it at oh well I have to get the box out so I can show you all right this is called Goya ham flavored concentrate and I have used this for the longest time for my pinto beans and then I forgot about it and didn't use it and I kind of stopped fixing pinto beans too and now I'm back fa fixing pinto beans and I'm going to use two of these and they're Goya and this is in usually in the international aisle of your grocery store I know it is at Walmart I don't know about Kroger. I've only bought it at Walmart, so that's how come I know where it's at. So, like I said, I'm putting in two packs of this ham concentrate and these pinto beans, and I've got, uh, I don't even know how much water I've got in here, uh, and it's not up to the max line yet, so... I don't know I would say probably at least seven or eight cups of water and I have got to get the salt and pepper hold on on that let me turn this down I got my ninja foodie going still all right so I've heard a lot of people say don't put salt and pepper in your um, pinto beans when you're cooking them that's a that is a lot of malarkey there that is not true you can always put salt in your pinto beans who the heck wants to eat pinto beans without salt on them all right so i'm putting about i don't know a good um two to three teaspoons of salt in there and that's just regular table salt and then this is coarse ground black pepper and I need to take the lid off of here and it just comes out to uh oh that's probably too much uh oh uh, let me see here Yeah, it might be too hot, but they'll still be okay. All right, so I've got that in there. Let me get my this out, and now I'm going to put my 
lid on here. Turn it around, make sure it's on the ceiling, not venting. And this is the same with your Instant Pot, if that's what you're using instead of the Ninja Foodie. All right, now let me get you down here. On the Ninja Foodie, um, all right, I'm going to go to Pressure, and I'm going to, let me get here. Well, Pressure. Uh, all right, I'm going, and i got to come back down. I'm doing 35 minutes. All right, and then on the Ninja Foodie, you have to press start. On the Instant Pot, you don't. So there, it's going on. I'm going to cook these for 35 minutes, and then I'll probably let them sit for 10 minutes or so. And I'll bring you back and show you. And we're going to have the stroganoff and pinto beans. All right, I'll bring you back. Okay, y'all. All right, so while the beans are cooking i am going to be cooking the um egg noodles for this and it's going to take i'm just going to put some salt in the water here and remember in your water your pasta water you always want it to be like the ocean because this is the only time that you're really going to be able to get your pasta um, seasoned because it, they'll never, there won't be any more, you know, where you can cook it in the water and boil it and stuff like that. So you always want your pasta water to be seasoned really well with your salt. And so I'm going to let this come up to a boil. And then I'm going to put three cups. I'll probably put the, let's see, this is one pound. All right, so I used about eight ounces of that. I've already used about eight ounces. So three cups, it's more than that. But I'm going to go on and just use this, the rest of this bag to go in here to heat up for this stroganoff. And I will bring y'all back when it starts boiling. Okay, y'all. All right, so I'm getting down to the nitty-gritty of this. <laughs> this mock stroganoff here. All right, so this is the um, hamburger and the onions and all. This is already cooked. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put in two cups of water. And then I'm going to put in six tablespoons of, well, I hope I can get, no, yeah, six tablespoons of the brown gravy mix. All right, there's two. Four. Six. All right, so there's the six tablespoons. It would be two packets, but I didn't have the packets. I only had the this, the the thing, the bottle or whatever, the jar, whatever it's called, container. <laughs> All right, and so that takes um, each packet has three tablespoons. And so, with two packets, you'd have six tablespoons. And I had this, and this took, this was two tablespoons. And so, I'm going to put this in here now. And I'm going to let this come up to a boil. And it's going to thicken up. And once this comes up to a boil and thickens up, then I will put the sour cream in here. And it's two cups of sour cream. Um, in here and I will bring you back when I'm getting ready to do that okay y'all all right so this boiled for two minutes and it's thickened up now and I'm going to put this 
sour cream in here. It's two cups of sour cream. Seems like a lot, but it'll be all right. Let's hope. Let's hope this will taste okay. All right. Oh, this smells so good, y'all. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Now, I think this is going to be really good. By the time I get this all mixed together and then we put it in the egg noodles, it's, oh, it's just going to be really good. The beans have got eight more minutes to cook. So I may put this back on the new wave and put it on low. And here's this. Put this on low and let um, this cook for until the beans get totally done. Okay, so this is how uh, that all right, that uh, sour cream, now I'm going to zoom out, show you the, the egg noodles are in this pot, and I'm probably going to have to, let's see, that spoon goes with, Yeah, I'm going to have to get Teresa to come in here and lift this these up. It's too heavy for me. So I'll bring you back. Okay. All right, so she poured that in here, and I'm going to stir it up and get this all mixed together. Oh, doesn't it look so good? Oh my gosh, it looks so good. All right, so it's about sixteen more minutes before I open the pot for the beans. All right, and I'm going to put this up here on my new wave and put it on low and just let this sit until the beans get done and I will bring y'all back. Okay, y'all. All right, so I'm back. Here is the mock stroganoff. I've got um, pinto beans and applesauce with it. I've just got it on a paper plate because Teresa's gone. She's left to go to the beach, and I'm here by myself, and I wanted to taste this, see what it tastes like. Oh, my gosh. Wow, it does have a lot of... <clears throat> The sour cream in it, but it is really good. Mm-mm. Mm. -mm -mm. mm. I have to get some applesauce. Mm. Stroking off and applesauce. <laughs> All right, y'all. This is really, really good. Mm. I hope you like this. And I hope you will give um, this a try. If you do, let me know in my comments. And also, don't forget to go to the playlist of everyone that is in this collab and look and see what their cookbook items are. <laughs> because each one of us in this collab has done something using some dish using a a recipe from a cookbook. So I hope you have a good weekend and I will talk to you later. Bye.